Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to study how to read data from JSON file and display the same to the UI with the help of WPF and MVM pattern. See, uh, before starting, you must know the what is the MVVM pattern. See, in that, M means model. It's equal hold the data and has nothing to do with any of the business logic. It have the entities. Now properties, all properties will be defined into an model. Now view model, it's act as a bridge or the connection in between the model and the view. And view itself a UI representation. So now for that purpose, in a MVM pattern, we create here folder as a model, then view model and view is here. So now our motto is to read the JSON file. So that's why I create one more folder here that is the source data file in that I save the JSON file say let us see the data what contained in that file so these are the properties first name last name gender age and mobile number okay. likewise thus three are so now we read this data into a your list before that you need to define properties which map to this one to one so that in a module by right click add here class we add a class as we already added it now name as a person model see in that I define the properties like a private first name get set then last name what the property contained in the json array and how many properties you want to read from that file you need to define first here click here if you are going to perform more operations then you need to do here notify property change handler see in a view I create one class name is notify property change handler you can name it as as per your requirement now in that I just handle the property change event I write here property change event notify property change as the name is notify property change and just inherit this class into a model class that is the person model see notify property change handler now I call this notify property change the first name last name gender now for the current application we are we not required this property change handler but for the next operation right now we are going to only read data just reading data in a one way reading from json file and write to the ui so no need to use this but while expanding this operation our next video coming is to write how to write data into a json file in that case we need to use it so i use here notify property change now this is your model containing all properties which you are going to access from the JSON file. This is your JSON data. Now, operations, perform the operations. So, this is the simplest one. I just write access the model class into a view model. This is the your view model. Now, define the list, get set property. Why? Because once we go for the next operation for writing updating then we need to go for this property change event right now i'm not using here property change so in a constructor of person view model it just call one method because we are not going to write here any command or any command handler i just directly call the method and in that method we just provide the string json here read the data from this people.json file here is this file people.json file now it will read all the file as it is from the json to the string json string name as a json now we deserialize we deserialize this file into an serialize sorry deserialize serialization, serialization to the deserialization so that we can save it into a list format by passing the object or the class of the 
person model. So this is the thing. Items JSON convert dot deserialization object dot here the list then person model and we are passing here the JSON that is the your JSON file read it data into and this JSON string then it will deserialize this data by using the JSON converter we need uh, when we are going to use this JSON converter we need to add one nugget called as a Newton's dot soft so here just right click manage nuggets wait for CL Newton soft if you are not found then type it as a or if you don't know the name you forgot to name then directly you type here JSON then it will show the all JSON dependent nuggets now here is the Newton soft dot JSON it's a freeware so that's why I, I use here now this is the final this item list contain the all content of your JSON file now we need to bind this content to the main model to your view model view is here so here first I bind this view model to the view by using this xmls then here I provide one object is equals to the namespace and your view model now define windows dot resource so this is the vm so vm person view model and the key value pair here is the view model like a dictionary now bind this as a data context we can write this data context to beyond the code also in a main window but I bind here bind sorry binding source is equals to static resource view model let's provide this key to here now define one row here I define two rows because uh, I'm going to extend some application for the next video now here the data grid I name it as a data grid uh, user data grid then we'll place this data grid into a first row then auto generation column is the false then item source what we are going to bind you must provide here now to data grid I am going to bind the items here are the items uh, item contain all the JSON data that's why I am going to bind this item to the data grid item to the data grid and then define the data grid columns here the first column contain the first name here is the header name next one is the binding See binding first name, header name, last name, see binding last name, then gender, gender, age, age, here is age, then number and number and end of your columns. Clear? Then end the data grid and grid and the window. Now in this way, we have done the application now. Click, build and run. So this is the data first name last name then here is the gender age and the number now see I'm opening in a background so this is the first name then last name male then age is 28 here is the number now for the second person now for the third person is it clear in this way we can do the binding with the JSON and you can display the same thing on a UI with the help of this nugget Clear? the nugget name is newtonsoft.json you can easily find it in a nugget management studio ok thank you guys now the next video I am going to continue with this Clear? now wait for the next thank you to simply learn now uh, in our first video, we already learn the read JSON file data to the list and show it into a data grid uh, in a WPF MVM pattern. Now, in the second video, 
we are going to read or accept data from the UI and write the same into an JSON file. So let's start here. This is our JSON file as we already I told you in a first part of my video. So first go through the folder structure. Here I make one more folder as a I command. Here is the relay command. Actually this relay command expose a method of the delegates to the view. That means this type of command act as a way of binding between the view model and the UI. See, this is the model that is the entities. What are the properties that are, that are in a JSON that is the first name, last name, age and number all will define here. First name, last name, age, number. And here is we called as a property change event. So we define this event into an view model. So we define one more class as the name as a notify property change handler. And in that we write a one method as a property change and call the property change handler method. Uh, so we inherit this class into an your person view model as well as the person model and here is the view in view we simply copy and paste your main window.xaml whatever view we create in a future all will place here in a view folder so that we can say that it's a model view and view model architecture see while placing this main window after placing you need to modify provide this starting URL address that is the view comma main window now let's start as we already learned this to here source fo folder contain the source file that is your JSON file clear eh? so person ok now here we start we write one more command as a add command then here we use one more object for the personal sorry person model see so this object have the property getter and setter and along with the notify property change see this object is used to bind the newly entered data into an UI to your view model to the model and by we by using this object we uh, store uh, the data into an list and then list to the your JSON file so let's start here so this is your list which contain the all data from the JSON file see once you define this once you define this json person model see we need to initialize it into an your constructor constructor of personal view model so that we can easily access it into an your xaml file that is into the view so selected person model now selected person model so we bind this selected person model to the ui and take the entry from ui and plus it to the your business logic so in a data grid i use here selected item is equals to the binding here the selected person model and same selected person object will bound to this text boxes here first name then last name last name age contact number see here this is your text box here i bind text is equals to the binding selected person model dot first name now for the second selected person model dot last name for this one and for age so same is here selected person model for age and selected person model for number so in this way we bind the selected person model new object that is the model object to your UI now whatever data enter into the UI we accept this save it into an 
the selected person model object and then we process the further operation on the selected person model say to perform operation we write here one more button as we are in a first video we already like write the show button is here now we add one more button as the name is add see here add here the horizontal alignment is left so that this is the first button in this margin these are the common things and command we are bind this command binding add command command is equals to the binding add command now our main logic come into the picture so here we define this add command clearly we initialize it now just okay this add command okay. yes. So here, so here, if the add command is equal to equal to null, then relay command that is your delegate it called to the delegate and this dot add JSON method we create this method in the same person view model class and pass the null value so that obviously uh, it's a true and return to the add command. So from here it called to this method that is the add JSON. Now here items dot add inside selected person model selected person model so whatever data enter at this ui at this ui will collect it into and this selected person model object selected person model object now this object we add this data from this object to the items items is your list then we create one more variable as a json data then use the json converter dot serialize object comma item then comma formatting dot integrated because of this we'll get we will get the json data into a formatted structure elsewhere we will we get the data into a single line that is single line is the format distributed but uh, so by uh, to read this data it's two complications is there so formatting dot integrated it supported into an json converter into an nugget this newton soft so we directly write here formatting dot integrated now after this execution of this line all the data from this list appears into a new json into serialized format that means in a json format now here the work is that only we need to write same data into an your json file so by using the io that is the file dot write all text this is your file path name obviously this at the rate that means that this file is present into an your bean folder debug and bean folder now comma pass the data or pass the object what we want to write into an your json file See, after this passing you will get the final output let's run this okay initially I just show the whatever data present into an file okay this is the JSON file joy Jimmy Amy and joy is there now if you add one more is there for the better understanding I just write ABC oh sorry I just write ABC then new is here 30 here i use 32, 32. then here yeah. supposed to be the yeah. number and add see after adding yeah, after adding, click on the show to. button see yeah. here then okay this is your json file okay this is your JSON. Here is the last entry is ABC new. Now suppose we run this. See show data. So this is your last entry ABC new 32777. ABC new 32777. We add the new entry as a person 1. Then last name as a last here is the 20 and here is the number.
okay now click on the add button so data is added but it's not show so click on the show button we are not here see here is your new entry so in this way we can add data to the json file and the same data will appear here because of the file running so it not show here so once i close this the data will appear automatically in the json file this is your person data dot json so let's see here then here after that we need a new entry as a person one last 20 and 33 3550 so let's stop the program see here it will ask because of this is in a open state so yes to all now here is your new data entry so at the end of this in a description box you will get the link for this code runnable code you can try it and uh, if you have any, any problem related to this then feel free to contact me okay Yeah, welcome to all see here in the last video we see the how to read json file and display it into a data grid with the help of wpf mvvm pattern now see in the second part we already learned to read data from ui or accept data from user and save it into a json file now the next one is the part three In that we are going to learn update the JSON file. So let's start it. See here. Before starting, I just run the application. Which we had created previously in first two video. See, this is the blank one. Once you click on show, then it will display the all data which are present in your JSON file. Now let's see. We are going to add new here. I just type it as a new entry. New. new. Here is the entry so that it could be better understanding. New entry will be there. Now I am typing here number. So last entry is the joy. After placing add, then the new entry will be appears after this joy. See here. Okay. Now this new entry is appears here. So now we are going to add here button for the update and bind this button with the update method. So without wasting time, let's do this. Okay, here I am just copying this so it will save our time. Here yeah. I name it as a update. Yeah. Now horizontal alignment is left due update. to this margin. Both are on a overlapped. So here I change the margin. Here. Here. And make it as a Ninety could be okay for me. Okay, so eighty. Yeah, seventy-five. Seventy. Okay. Now this update button is added here. We need to bind the command which we are going to create in a your view model right now. Here the add command is there. That means this add and the update will perform the same operation due to this command binding. Now let's first write the command for the add. Sorry for the update. Here is the command. So now just create the new command. So private private. Now I command here. Sorry. Okay. Now I create update command 
semicolon okay you just copy and we're going to create a new command here public my command initially we just define it now here is the implementation of this command the command name is update Sorry. command so method name is update now here is the property as we defined so that's why getter and setter is there we did not require to set the new property we just check it whether it is empty or not always it shows the given command is null so so after that we will perform operation here the error is there because here double equals to is required so now update command is equals to new called as delegate called as new relay new relay now param we are passing instance for this dot here we are going to create a method in which actually we are running the operation for the updation so this dot will create the new let's say update json data okay so it could be easy and passing null value so by default it is sent consider as a true okay it showing error because the same command is not present in the given instance of the class so here we are just create the private private because out of this class we are not ready to provide access of this command so uh, your model will not able to access but view will able to access this command through your view model and view model will take the data from view and communication it perform the communication between the view and view model via only sorry uh, view and model via only view model so let's try it so now here is the update here i am just checking whether this command will execute or not so message box dot show here update command press or update command call okay here using window okay so update json so okay. command so name is update, update command we just bind this command with, with your update, update button okay now okay. let's run okay. this Okay, return. okay return here we miss because of get return yeah then started yeah started okay this is your application now this two are already running let us see whether by after clicking this update the update message will appear or not so we just I click it so it is clear yeah update command is call so update command is call as we write here message okay sorry so let's stop it now write the code for that just make it as a disable here see how to update the given json so before updating we need to select it select the row so that the data will be selected into an selected items as we already taken see here selected items 
binding selected person model as we create here the selected person model is the yes, object for your, your model class, class that is the person, person model, model class. class so, so whatever, whatever it is selected is here means whatever on, on uh, which you are, uh, row you are click will be automatically selected and, and the same data bind to your first name last name age and, and the, the contact, contact number. number is it clear simply once you select the row all data will be displayed here once the data will be displayed we just update the entries and click on the update button then the data automatically updated on your list as well as your json file let's see let's see here the logic is same as to add new data into a json here here is the items dot add see item is your list this is your list which we previously list defined here, here. items and having and property, property get and set. set so here is the add then add what we are going to add and select object. okay selected person model okay here selected person model means whatever yeah. uh, on uh, which row you are selected the data will be copied and add it into an your list after modifying so where now we take one more variable where i name as a updated json is equals to here we need to use json converter dot as the data is in simply text format so use serialization dot as data is text now so use here items okay now we need a formatting so formatting dot inted so it will be display or save the data in a proper format now need to write this data into an write all text into an your json file okay by using the path at the rate here the file name is people data dot dot json and comma here which file you are going to provide to write on the json file into a json format so here the updated json is here now semicolon clear so after updating we need to call get list so we can see easily the data is updated okay so get json data this is the method name and at last we just show whether the file is updated or not see and i am going, going to show given Okay, given person data data is updated successfully. Okay, let's try to build this. Let's okay, succeeded. Let's start it. Okay, first I'm going to show the exact what are what is the data is present. See, new entry is the last data. Now, update. Suppose we are going to update this one instead okay, of the data. data See, here I just type update update new. Here I type updated. Okay, updated, updated entry here instead okay. of forty instead of forty. Here 
we'll go for 33 here 111 so that it should be understand and click on the update button see here update okay okay let's see this is your json file now see what the error happens see last time we are going to modify so the show button suppose see this is the problem with appears once you modify this it will modify the existing one suppose we name as a new one new one one rest of the things as it is and once you click on the modify then it will modify existing one as well as add the new materials in your existing json now see new one one new one one entry say this is your json file let's find it see the two time entries are there so this is the big problem but the small solution is that see here is the update so update json is there now we call this method of for the update if we bind this command see after clicking this update button we bind this uh, update command now so the problem with this update command here here we are adding new selected row we, here we, this is the problem once, once you delete this, this so the, the code, code is work, work like this, this. see item, item list so, so whatever, whatever data change in the, the existing list, list see in, in an existing ui, UI here, here will appears into an list, list. We, we just, just do, do the same thing whatever we do in the add function, function. so we, we just take this data into an serialized format the variable is the update json and, and provide this for uh, file provide this data, data to the, the your json, JSON file, file. Clear? After, after that, that we call, call the get json data, data means get all data, data. see okay. this, this method, method is here, here. Get all data from the JSON file and display on the same your data. data data. After, after one, we display the given person, person data updated, updated successfully. Here, okay, data is updated. Forgot the grammatical mistakes. You just see the what the exact code, code and uh, flow of your code. code. See, let's, let's start. The, we just modify, modify only single thing. thing. We remove the this list, uh, item dot, dot add, add function, function here. here. Okay, show. So this is your JSON data from the JSON file. JSON file is here. Now let's first file is the joy. Name is joy. We just modify. Modify this joy as a suppose person suppose last stint is a new data last int and yeah. suppose the age is 30 and here for better understanding 111 so as i enter person new data 3111 so instead of this this is the first entry joy jackson 28 and this here i click on the update okay so given person data is updated successfully because of this file is open here the update is not reflected i just close the solution so i close the run here see here because of the open here it will ask the reload the your json file yes i just yes to all now see here the data is updated successfully we can see once again See, instead of joy now the first entry is the person okay so this is your it's final solution, solution you can person. update any data so suppose here one one, one here instead of one one, one I, I just enter one mobile, mobile number suppose nine eight one 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 okay now, now click on the update new one one, one. see update, update update okay show so, new one one, one. click, click yes to all so here the data is updated 
ओके न्यू 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 हियर इज द न्यू एंट्री इज देयर सो इन दिस वे यू कैन डू द ऑपरेशन ऑन यू जेसन फाइल ओके सो गाइस फील फ्री टू कॉन्टेक्ट मी इफ यू आर फेसिंग एनी प्रॉब्लम रिलेटेड टू दिस वन आई एम ऑल्सो शेयरिंग द सेम कोड कोड लिंक फॉर द योर स्टडी पर्पज फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग यू जस्ट रेफर द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स फॉर द लिंक ऑफ दिस रेनेबल कोड सो गाइस टेक केयर सो नेक्स्ट वीडियो विल बी फॉर द डिलीशन हाउ टू डिलीट डेटा फ्रॉम जेसन फाइल ओके वी विल कंटिन्यू द सेम वन continue the same solution for the next video okay thank you welcome guys as we already learn the how to read data from json file with the help of wpf mvvm application as we develop the same to read data from JSON file. Now write data to the JSON file. Now update data from the JSON file inside the JSON file. Now the part four, the last one, two. We are going to say so delete. From JSON file in your WPF MVVM application. okay at the end of this video i will give the link into the description box so you can see you can go through the runnable code with the all these four options so let's start now this is your previous develop application and last is the new 11 so let us see here person and new 11 okay suppose i am going to update this new 11 then you just write here suppose the name is johnny here is the fine okay update See here the data is successfully updated. The changes is reflected here, but here now changes is already reflected here. Johnny Roy, Johnny Roy. So previous as we are not handle here the exception. That's why the blank spaces is not able to insert. See null is here. Okay. This null pointer error is here. JSON file. Now run again. Last entry is John. Show Joy. Sorry. Joy. Suppose here I am going to add newer one. Here is for better understanding. I use here A B C. and here 9999 hmm so add it so this is your new entry okay now we are going to delete so next part is to delete the data from your json file with the help of this wpf mvvm application so we need to insert here one more button and to perform or write the code to delete the items from the list and same list we rewrite to the your json file so come here in a view model see in a view model we will write the command for show add update and this is your selected person model so whatever data selected into the data grid the all data will be placed inside this object personal uh, sorry person model that the model object and will perform operation on that so same thing in a simple way we just for deletion we just remove the item whatever selected or data whatever selected from the data grid and rewrite this list to the json file so that the same data will be removed so here i make one command suppose the command name is 
delete command okay i just copy this going to make we can see a private also command c delete command okay so command they have the property get and set we are we are setting property so get property is there get if so a delete command is equals to equals to null then we'll do the operation so the operation is delete command is equals to we handle the command with the help of this relay command so it will be identify whether can execute or not use here instance so param this dot now here we are going to write a one method to perform the delete operation is it clear so as we first previously write update json then add json data so for the better understanding delete json data so that anyone can easily understand what is the operation beyond this method okay and here is the null it we need to perform return some or the return the result see here we are getting error because the same method is not present now here i make it as a private method private void and simply this method name now perform operation for that method so the operation is simple see items is our list dot remove we are going to delete remove whatever selected row all the selected row data will be appears inside the selected person model this is the object and the simple operation where we just take one more variable where here again we use new list as the name new data suppose uh list name it as a list because it contain the all list as equals to just serialize the same thing so for the serialization json convert dot serialize object and here uh, we just pass the same list and format dot intending so that the list will be sorry json file will be appears like a formatted structure so file dot and the simple the operation rest of the operations are simple same as we perform in add update operation and show data operation so here is i just copy the same here we are going to write here the new the variable name is a new list get json after deleting it will show the list refresh the list that is retrieve the same list again so given person data is updated here we said deleted successfully let's try this but before trying we need to bind this delete command with your delete option so here there is no extra button so we just put the new button here copy paste here the button name is suppose delete now here command what is our command name sorry so command name is delete command here is the delete okay delete command now here overlap is there so uh, change here to margin okay 170 is too big 
ओके गो फॉर वन फिफ्टी वन फिफ्टी इज अगेन हाई सो वन थर्टी ओके वन थर्टी इज ओके सो टिल इट इज एयर नाउ लेट्स ट्राई इट वेदर इट वर्क और नॉट एरर इज देर वॉट इज द एरर अच्छा सेमी कॉलम इज मिसिंग यार सेमी कॉलम इज मिसिंग ओके नाउ लेट्स स्टार्ट अगेन so show data this is your data this is your abc abc these are the two time entries here i am going to delete this delete okay now again delete so given person data is deleted successfully and click on show okay the same data is appears again delete again delete let now 1 2 3 entries are there let us see what happened here since three entries are here 1 2 and 3 now one more add here i said new is there rocky sorry about my name naming convention for the raw data and let's say 09090 this is the number so once i add this and so look okay now so well you cannot be not okay न्यू न्यू डेटा थर्टी ओके नाउ क्लिक ऑन एड बटन सो डेटा इज एडेड so we are having here blank if the list is blank then we are not handle the error now we are focusing on only operations so firstly we just show the data whatever present in the json file so data is here now suppose here i enter a new new one here is 3 and 1111 this is the add so here new data is added successfully suppose you want to update it then update the same things okay new here as i said updated okay updated updated your given data is updated suppose you want to delete so click the selected file here the data is appears here because we bind this selected object to this uh, your data grid so that the all data appears here so in that object the data we just remove this data or the remove this object contents from the list and just write this list again to the json so delete okay finally 
delete one more okay so finally the list contains your json file contains only two con two data data for two person here it's in append mode that's why it asks to whether it's save or not once i click on yes to all then only two data is appears okay so in this way we perform all the operations on json file there are many methods this one is the simplest methods but this is applicable is only on the uh, small amount of data if the um, data is in a huge quantity then uh, this process may effect on your uh, operations or the time complexity okay thank you thank you guys if you are facing any problem related to this operation just come comment me i will give the answer definitely yeah and the same code same the runnable code i will share in a description box you just click on that link you will get the all code okay thank you